guys, Minty here. Hope you guys are all having a good day. And today we're going to be doing a sketchbook tour of my 24th sketchbook. This sketchbook is a Canson XL Mixed Media. This is the 5.5 by 8 by 5 inches. Um, and yeah, let's just jump right in if you're interested in my stickers. I made these three in a video. These two I also made. Um, and then the rest I kind of just accumulated over time because <laughs> I have a really weird sticker collection. On the, on the inside is um, my start page. I always start with my character Irene um, and just like a what sketchbook this is and then when I started it. So I started this one April 28th, 2019 and I ended it July 20th, 2019. So yeah, around four months I believe. Um, but this first page is Irene with all the, my, like my squad. <laughs> Toffee looks so different like now that I draw him, like I draw him so differently than I did back then. But here um, is the first page. <laughs> So we actually start off the sketchbook with my first generation of characters from the series that I don't actually have a name for, but um, I would like to write a novel for them in, in the future if I ever find time because I just keep expanding all of my characters, like I just keep making more. So these are all iconic characters that you might know if you've been following me for a long time, such as like Minty, Ivy, Aiden, Avery, Birdie, Caitlin, Renee, and Dakota. Um, if you guys know, these are not all of the first characters I made. Um, I made a lot more, but I just kind of didn't put them in here because there was a lot. There's a lot of characters that I have. I'm actually skipping around a lot because on the back side of these few pages, I actually have some personal information from school. <laughs> I just wrote a lot in here, um, but I also have like names and stuff, so I just don't want to show that. But the second page, or I guess third page, is my second generation of characters, which is technically the first generation's, um, you know, like, kids, except for these these three. Um, she was an OG, but I wanted to put her in this one because she's more relevant to this one than she is the first generation. And then these two are siblings to Minty, but the rest of them are kids. So overall, we have May, Michael, Keith, Riley, Hazel, <laughs> Vivian, Danny, and Carson. And they just keep multiplying. Here's Gen 3, which is all of Gen 2's kids. So they're kind of separated into families. So we have B, Kario, and Rui, and then we have um, Carter, Dakota, Tessa, and Connor, and then we have Kari- Kario? We have Koi and Monica, and then we have Sam, Blake, and Rin. And then we actually kind of get into my actual sketchbook. So these are my old designs of Irene, um, but we're with my stuffed animals, or I guess my squad members. So we have the one with Vamoose and Mr. Duck Duck. I do want to make these into like digital drawings. Um, but then up here we just have a task with pencil and watercolor, which it worked, but this is shiny. <laughs> and then we have the new design of Irene, but we also have her with Toffee, so I just have two of those, and this one's also shiny. Mr. Tom Chomp one comes later on. <laughs> so then we have my Irene after Endgame, because I was literally destroyed. Distraught. I was- I was gone. I'm still destroyed. I still can't. We just- I just pretend it doesn't happen, okay? <laughs> but then we have some Monica, a um, little like comic, if you care to read, I don't know, um, which is in marker, and then we have Ruby and B in watercolor, and I love this piece so much, I don't know what it is, but I just love it. And then we have another little comic of Vivian and Danny, but this is also in watercolor, and this, if you care to read that, you can pause that. And then we have just ongoing, or I guess the next sequence or next page of it, and then we have Irene up there because I draw myself a lot. If you haven't realized already, I draw myself and my squad members a lot. Like, it's a problem. <laughs> um, and then we got Irene and Mr. Chomp Chomp, which I actually love this piece so much, and I want to turn it into something. I don't know what yet, but I don't know. I just love this piece so much. I just, I love it. <laughs> and then we have Ruby Rose. I love her so much. I had a little, like... Um, I drew her a lot, and, uh, I just drew her a lot. So, we have Ruby, um, these two are referenced of, like, actual poses, and then this one I referenced off myself, and then this one's just a little doodle. And then since I did Ruby, I did Connor, and I don't like this one as much, um, but he's, he's there. <laughs> and then we will go to Mr. Toffee, but he's in a Ravenclaw hoodie already. This is a scarf. I know my articles of clothing. He technically is a Ravenclaw if we're talking Harry Potter terms, and then we have May if she was in Ebony's world, and Ebony if she was in May's world. I want to give her cute little calico ears. <laughs> um, these are from Drawing Your OCs, my series. Um, if you're interested, there's a playlist of all the characters that I've drawn. If you guys want to enter, you can enter with the hashtag that's down below in the description. So yes, these are the little sketches for those. And then we have National Dynamo. 
day. Um, I never actually finished his drawing, but I still love it a lot. Um, but yeah, I just never finished it. <laughs> this is just a little doodle. And then we go to markers. I don't know, I must have got bored of watercolor, but we have May, Monica, and Ruby. Um, I love this picture of Ruby. If I didn't give her the necklace, um, it kind of just got faded away when I erased it, so it looks really weird. But I don't know, I love this piece still. These two are completely referenced. I was having issues with my style, so I was just testing some things. But we have Blake and Koi, and then we also have Ebony. And then over here is all of the kids' is powers, if they have any. So if you're interested, you can read that. But then we have more Blake, Vivian, and Hazel. Because I felt like I didn't draw the parents for a while. Oh, this ripped. Um, not ripped. Um, so these are taped on. This one is completely referenced off of like some dogs I found off of like Pinterest. And this is Monica's dog Buttercup, and then I painted it for some reason. <laughs> but then we have myself, or Irene, in my room. These are actual paintings that I have on my wall. We have a 21 Pilots painting, A Nightmare for Christmas, because that's like my favorite movie. And then my squad, because, yeah. <laughs> but we have Famous in my bed. And then just a little vent art, because I was just, I don't know. More vent art of my character, Mari, because she's the only character I kept out of her story. I don't know, I was just getting bored, but I should draw her more. I love her. She's my little dragon girl. Um, and then we have Monica, because she's infatuated with her grandmother, Minty. So this is, this is her in Minty's outfit. This outfit is actually, like, referenced off of Pinterest, but I changed the colors up. And then we have more Monica with her puppy, Buttercup, which I love. This is so cute. And then we have Danny and his swimsuit, and this is my pride drawing, which is also technically a redraw. Also, you can see the shiny. I like my shiny paints, especially with her. Uh, I don't know what's built there, but something some, something did. Um, and we have a bio to adopt, which I never actually gave to someone, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to. I, I will, um, eventually. But I call this girl Kite Girl because she's little kite earrings. And then we have another bio to adopt, which is not actually... I never put her up, so she's technically not for adopt, so just... I, yeah. <laughs> um, a redraw of my first design of Minty. Um, I don't actually have the original piece of this, but it's really old. Um, but I kind of like upgraded the Twin Palette symbol to the new one, which is not technically- I, we don't- okay, I love this piece, but <laughs> yeah. Another redraw that I did, um, I don't have the original with me once again, but I have two versions of this one, um, but I really like this one. I love the anatomy in this one, and I just- I don't know. I just- <laughs> I like this one. This one's done in watercolor and colored pencils. And then we have some doodles. I was on vacation, so I kind of was like time skipping here. But we have Irene when I first dyed my hair red, and that started the red saga of me just drawing Irene with red hair. Even though I no longer have like red hair, my hair's like turning brown again. But I still draw myself with red hair because I love it and I'm gonna dye it again. I don't know, but yeah. This is Taco Cat. I drew it for my uncle. It was kind of an ongoing joke for three years and he always said he was gonna get tattooed. And then I did this one and I got it, I made it digital. Um, there's another character I had right here, which is this actual dog. But he did actually get this tattooed and it's so cool and I'm still like freaking out because it's kind of weird to have some my art tattooed on someone's body. But we have May in the new Aphmel because I, I loved Aphmel ever since the first diaries. And so I love seeing it be remaked. <laughs> Some really bad drawings of my character Dakota. It's like really bad, but we don't talk about it. I love this hair design, which I want to play with, but these are all really bad. Um, when I was on vacation, I got four new coping markers and I wanted to test them out. Um, I asked to do this in the dark, so it's really bad. But yeah, um, those are my four new markers. I got two oranges, um, one purple, and then like this teal color. And then we have my character Ebony. I love her literally so much, and I love this one right here. If you can, can't tell, I messed up. I actually had, um, I overfilled my black marker and it dropped right where I needed there to be a point. So it's a bit weird, I, but I love this drawing so much of her and I gave her a new outfit and a new hairstyle because I feel like I changed her so much. And I don't know when, but I messed up her eye, like way back. Um, her eye, her black eye, like her missing eye used to be this one and then, but for some reason I flipped them, but whatever. These are some video concepts for my video where I do characters based off of songs. So that's these. If you're interested, that's a beer. <laughs> this is completely referenced of my character Irene. Just a little, I don't know, I was just bored. I just forgot how to draw. And then this is me. Um, 
I, just, I drew a little chibi of myself um, in a swimsuit that I have. My marker also dripped there, which is annoying, but it's fine. I'm fine. And then we have some May and some different outfits and hairstyles by different hairstyles. I mean, two different hairstyles. This one, of course, is smudged if you couldn't tell, but I don't know. I like these ones. Um, Ruby and a dress, if you want to read that. There you go. Um, I don't like this one, but I like it at the same time. My character Rin, because I literally never draw her, um, but I love her so much. I, I don't know, I just I just do. I should totally do a sketchbook tour of one of my older ones where I was coming up with the designs for all these children. Because there's a lot. This drawing I rushed if you could not tell. Like the ring is <laughs> like what did I I don't know. I just don't like this drawing. We don't talk about it, okay? It's a redraw, we just don't talk about it. But this one is cute and I love it. <laughs> it's of my character, Danny, and her boyfriend, or I guess husband, I, I don't know. Um, Carson, um, but I, this is the first ever drawing I gave one of my characters eyeshadow, and I don't know, I love it. I don't know, I just, I, I don't know, I love it. <laughs> and I put some detail in her hair, and yeah, but the jacket <laughs> kind of ruins it, but it's fine. And then I have a little chibi of her. So cute. I always forget to add her stars, um, her star freckles, but... I try. Oh, I was having some really ish bad issues trying to like finish the sketchbook, but like also make it good and art block. I like this picture of Toffee. I don't like any of the other ones, but I like Toffee. And I guess Mr. Duck Duck because he just looks derpy no matter what I do. <laughs> he just looks bad. Um, these are my main three characters, Meg, Vivian, and Michael, I guess in the old characters, but whatever. They also both have stripes, and like, that's kind of iconic. Um, <laughs> but then we have just some shading and like skin tone differences. And here comes a whole slew of redraws. So this one is from January 21st, 2018. It was originally a three marker challenge, but I don't want to do that, so I didn't. Um, but this is this one. I like actually like how this one came out. And then we have Veronica from January 11th, 2018 to July 10th. Um, I love this one, except for the hands. Like, the hands are so bad. Um, but we just, just don't talk about it, but I love this piece. Like, if you cut off the hands, I, I, I think it looks good. <laughs> and then we have an old OC of mine, Peppermint. I don't know what happened to her. I feel like I gave her to someone, but I don't know. I just miss her hot pink hair. But this is from October 20th, 2017 to now, or I guess July 10th. But I don't know. I like how this one came out. Another redraw of this was originally my character Ivy, which now is Ivy. <laughs> but my she was my old persona, and so I added my new persona, which is Irene. And I had to draw the squad, and it's just not good. We just, we just don't talk about it. And then we have this really pretty girl in a swimsuit type shirt thingy, my bobber. I like it. I just don't like the pink and the blue. It just doesn't go together. Um, and then we have this drawing, which I- okay. <laughs> so, I actually love this drawing literally so much. I hate the perspective on, like, the works. Like, I don't know- like, I don't even know how that's supposed to make sense. But I love, like, just this. Because I love how Mr. Duck just- it just keeps getting worse. Um, but then we have Irene and Squad. Once again, Mr. Duck back looking super derpy. But then we have some, some doodles. I was just trying to finish a sketchbook at this point. So we have Irene, 60 second doodle of Monica, which I aligned and inked later on. And then I think this is Blake, and then B, I believe. <laughs> I'm not sure. This is a uh, redraw of something I did in Inktober, but I made it not Inktober witchy type thing. I just made it like this. I don't know, I think it's cute. Um, May in her funeral dress, I redrew it. Um, more FML, but this is really bad. We just don't talk about it. And then we have Irene in a big hoodie with a big hair. And then we have this piece, which I absolutely adore. This is FML's new series, My Inner Demons. Um, this is the character Ava, and I just, I adore this piece. Like, like I love the hair, like the purple shines in it. And I got the idea from someone else on Instagram to give her horns with, I just gave it with gel pen. I don't know, I love this drawing so much. Um, and then here comes a whole bunch of reference pieces because I just really wanted to finish the sketchbook um, and I, I just wasn't having a good art time. So I just referenced a pose and then I gave her bunny ears and weird skin tone. I don't know. But I like this piece. 
And then another reference piece um, of someone in an inner tube, but I made it a mermaid, <laughs> which I kind of like. Once again, it's fresh, if you couldn't tell. And then here's the second to last page of my character, Danny and May. I gave Danny her proper skin tone, which is like a tan ish. She's supposed to be tan. And then we have May being pale, which I don't like that hand. I don't know what that hand's doing, but whatever. And then we have the last piece in here, which I love so much. I love Irene holding Toffee. I don't know. Just love it. Love this drawing so much. And as you can tell, the anatomy on the legs doesn't make sense, but it's okay. We're we're working on it. But I don't know. I I just I love this drawing so much. And then in the back, I have this little pocket that I made for some stickers that I got throughout the sketchbook, um, but they're not in here anymore. They're in my new sketchbook, which I will show you because I love the cover of it, like, a lot, like I painted it. So, yeah. Here is my sketchbook number 25, which I'm currently working in. It is a small little, like, moleskin sketchbook. Um, but yeah, here's the cover, which I love so much, and I want to turn this digital and, like, make this more covers. I don't know why I love this. Um, <laughs> It's so cute. I love how the moose turned out. But yeah, I wanted it to be like this. Like, Mr. Reptuck has the page, and then she's, like, looking. But yeah, I guess we'll go through this, just because I won't actually do a sketchbook tour for this until I finish, like, a two of these. Because this came in the pack of three, because it's, like, 80 pages. But it's also thin, so I don't use, like, um, markers or watercolors. I just use these pens, which I actually have right here. I use these pens, which are the Zik Memory System Brushables, and they have two sides, one of which is pastel, and then one of which, which is not. I don't know, I love these pens so much. They're like, they are brush tipped. Also, this one's so dirty. We don't talk about it. Um, but yeah, they're all dirty. <laughs> I don't keep my pens clean, apparently. I'm a bad artist. But yeah, they're like brush pens. So those are those, and I also use um, this like big pen in here. Atlantis, and then I also just literally use like Crayola pencils. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I use in this sketchbook, so it's like really sketchy and like, yeah. <laughs> so, this first page, I'm not actually gonna like read through it, but it's kind of like a meet the artist with me. And then my first page it just says sketchbook 25, and then get ready to see a lot of me in squad because that's what I draw a lot of. Um, the hoodie that I'm actually wearing is the ba my baby blanket because I'm weird like that. Like, I have stuffed animals and I drew myself in a baby blanket hoodie, but I like it. Okay, I'm not gonna really talk about it because I want to talk about it when I actually do the sketchbook tour, but <laughs> yeah, um, all of my characters, I think, I hope. <laughs> if I forgot any of them, whoops. I love this, I love this piece, it's like a family portrait. Um, these are drawing your C's. We got Buttercup and Monica. So some cute stuff. Commission stuff I'm working on. More commission stuff. And then this is the last page I'll show you. Um, but it's just me and some outfits I got. And then this cute little puppy that's really bad. But like I drew it in ink. So like I'm proud of myself. Um, old characters that I drew. Um, I guess maybe I can show you the last page. Let me just... I can show it to you. So this is more commission stuff I'm working on, and then we have my commission prices. So if you are interested, you can DM me on Instagram, or you can email me in the email that is down in the description. But yeah, here's the prices. <laughs> so yeah, and when it says digital, traditional, it's literally just digital. Traditional is for people I know in real life. <laughs> but yeah, these are the prices for them. So if you're interested, just DM me on Instagram, or you know, email me with the email that's down in the description. But yeah, and the back here, I actually have a whole bunch of stickers that I've collected. Ooh, if I can get this out of here. This beautiful picture of Mr. Duck Duck that I drew. Um, let's see. So we have like a Vans one. Um, this one, which is like three stickers. This one I can't show. <laughs> this came with the sketchbooks, the Moleskine one. We have this beautiful Beauty and the Beast one. Um, Toy Story 4. Toy Story 4. Um, this amazing Spider-Man that I made myself. I mean, I didn't make it. Like, I got this cardboard cut out of him and I made it into a sticker. 
and then I just have two Hollister stickers. So yeah. So yeah, those are the stickers I collected for my 24th, or during my 24th sketchbook, um, but I'm going to keep them in here to collect more throughout this one so I can use them in my next Canson sketchbook, or I guess my next one that I'm not painting on. Um, if I can fit this back in here. But yeah, that's my 24th sketchbook, but that is the finished 20... 24th sketchbooks tour. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me um, a like, and if you want, you can subscribe. Um, but yeah, um, please comment down below more videos you want to see from me, because I want to know what you guys want to see from me, and I hope you guys all have a good day, night, or whatever time it is where you're at, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!